everybody, this is Praxis and I'm back on site today working in that area under the stairs behind the wood stove where I was kind of brainstorming yesterday. I think I got it all straight in my head and I've uh, begun actually putting up some boards. I was going to shoot the video in there, but I think this is uh, more important and more applicable to a lot of people, what I'm about to do right now. I need to make some vertical supports. They go underneath the stairs. This is a 2x4, which means that it's an inch and a half thick and three and a half inches wide. And this one is uh, 39 and a half inches long. I need two more of these. I was looking around for just pieces of short scrap, you know, trying to you know use stuff up efficiently. And I came across this, this is some uh, board that was left by the concrete people. Uh, it was uh, some of the form boards that they used for, uh, you know, setting the footing. You know, they, you know, they pour around this stuff. It's all got concrete chipped all over it. Uh, it used to be much thicker and now it's all broken up. It's got pieces kind of splintering off. If someone like uh, left this at your build site, you might be tempted to say, oh, that's horrible. Get that out of here. I don't want to, you know, don't leave your garbage around here. Me, I'm the exact opposite. I'm like, hey, I'm sure I can find a use for that. And I'm just about to. And I want to show you how I'm going to use this. I'm going to turn this into this. It may not look quite as pretty, but it's going to be inside of a wall. And it really doesn't matter that much. I've got the table saw here set up. And I want to make this board three and a half inches wide. Uh, this back side is a little bit on the rough side. So I want to shave off both of them. But I'm going to use this one as the straight edge first and cut over here. So I'm going to set the saw to be slightly longer than three and a half inches, maybe an eighth of an inch over or so. And I'm going to put on my safety glasses because it's really important on a table saw because it's shooting everything back in your face. Turn it on. <laughs> transfer this flat edge over to this side. And next what I'm going to do is shave down this side and make it exactly the three and a half inches that this thing is. One thing, if you're ever using a table saw, the rulers on these aren't always accurate. In fact, mine is one sixteenth of an inch off, so I always have to compensate for that. Sounds kind of like sexual, but I don't mean it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Board. Now it's got, I mean, it looks horrible on this side, but the inside is still really nice wood. And I'll be able to get another one of these right out of the top section here. It's broken up a little bit here, but this is going to be inside of a stud wall. It's not really load bearing or anything. It's just there to take some boards to get nailed to it. So this is going to work out just fine. I've got another one pretty similar to it that I'm going to use to rip down the other one. I needed three of these. And uh, it's going to work out really well. And I'm going to take something that was debris that was trash that was in my way that you want to get rid of and I'm getting rid of it but at the same time I'm saving like that amount of two by four is I don't know two three dollars depending on uh, you know the quality of wood and everything this isn't the highest quality wood but for a stud wall you know I'm saving a couple bucks every time I do it and I'm cleaning up the uh, cleaning up the build site that's it thanks for watching